In this video, you'll learn how to program your ultra lock in standalone mode. Before programming your lock, make sure it is in factory default mode. To add a new admin code, first hold the ultra lock button for 3 seconds. You will hear two beeps and you will see a flashing green light. Enter a 4 to 8 digit admin code and then press the ultra lock button. You will hear one beep with a green light and then a flashing green light. Enter the admin code again and press the ultra lock button. You will hear two beeps with a green light. The lights will turn off and you'll be able to use your new admin code. To add a new user code, first hold the ultra lock button for 3 seconds. You will hear two beeps and you will see a flashing blue light. Enter the admin code you set and then press the ultra lock button. You will hear two beeps with a green light and then a steady blue light. Enter a 4 to 8 digit user code and press the ultra lock button. You will hear one beep with a green light and then a steady blue light. Enter the user code again and press the ultra lock button. You will hear two beeps with a green light. The lights will turn off and you'll be able to use your new user code. By default, your ultra lock will auto lock after 30 seconds of being open. To enable auto lock, first unlock your ultra lock. Press number 1 for 3 seconds until the ultra lock button turns green and number 1 blinks. To disable auto lock, first unlock your ultra lock. Press number 0 for 3 seconds until the ultra lock button turns green and number 1 blinks. To delete the admin or any user, you need to reset the lock to factory default mode. Use the reset needle and push the reset button for 3 seconds until you hear one long beep and two short beeps. The LED lights on the outside and inside body will turn on. Your lock is now in factory default settings, and any code can unlock your ultra lock. To learn more about your ultra lock, please visit utech.com.